Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. TJ here. Um, so for today's class, um, a mat, otherwise you could use our floor. Um, and I do have a dumbbell that we will be using for class. Um, lighter, if you need a heavier one, grab a heavier one. Otherwise, this can work too. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to lie on our back just to um, at least work the low back portion. And so we're going to do our bridge. So we're going to draw those feet as close to our backside or those heels as close to your backside as possible. We're going to push that hip up, bring it down, really focusing on squeezing through your glutes at the top. That way you feel it through your low back. There might be a little bit of pressure through that kind of top of the leg, close to the knee. It shouldn't be bothering you, hopefully in any way. Nice job. Pushing equally through both feet. Nice job. Three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. Just stretching out that low back. Nice job. So we're going to do it again. This time we're going to go feet together, knees together, making it a little more challenging. Same thing. Ready? Go. So really squeezing through those glutes at the top. Making sure that we're pushing equally through both our feet, making sure that our hips are not, like we're not shifting, you know, our hips around or feeling like one side is kind of doing more work than the other. Nice job, five, four, three, two, one. Knees into chest again. This time, if you want to roll, a little bit, just forward and back. You can. All right, so we're going to do this again. We want to make sure that low back is strong and healthy. All right, so this time we're going to have one leg. Um, it could either be straight up in the air or you could just leave it bent. But we're going to do one side for 15 seconds, then the other side for 15 seconds. All right, ready, set, go. So just one leg, either bent at 90 degrees or straight up in the air. Just remember that other foot that's on the ground is as close to your backside as you can get it. Three, two, one, switch legs, go. So really pushing that hip up, squeezing through that one side. In this case would be my left. The first time was the right, but you may be vice versa. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Knees into chest again. You can rock, you can stay where you are. And before we move on into the next core exercise, set your right foot down on the ground, extend your left leg up in the air, and I just want you to grab your knee or grab behind your knee or your calf, just to feel that stretch through the back of the leg really quick. Yeah. And let's switch and do the other side. Again, just a quick stretch of the back of the leg. All right, so now let's do our core exercise. So our ab exercise. So just a basic crunch, keeping feet flat on the floor and um, your hands are behind your head, chin is off your chest, 
We're going to do a crunch. Ready? Go. With this particular exercise that we are doing here, there is going to be two changes that will happen in the second and the third round. Just so you know. So again, bracing your head, keeping your chin off of your chest, engaging the core or the front part of you, your, your stomach. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So the next one that we are going to do is we're going to go feet extended and the feet are going to be together. So they always have to be touching. All right. So we're going to squeeze our legs together and we're going to do our crunch that way. All right. Ready, set, go. So again, squeeze those feet together. Chin is still staying off the chest, imagining there is a ball or something small and round, just right underneath your chin, imaginary, not literally, unless you really need a physical cue. Nice job. Great job, everyone. Five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job. So relax for a moment while I explain the last and final one that we were doing. We're going to go feet up at 90 degrees, or your legs are going to be at 90 degrees, and we're going to do that same crunch this time. This is how we're going to do it. All right, ready, set, go. So legs at 90, hands are still behind your head. Nice job, keep it going. Great job, so we're hitting up the core in different, like, like sections. So this one is kind of hitting the upper part more, even though we're hitting the whole, the whole part of our abdomen. It's just more upper. Three, two, one. All right. So extend those legs, hands overhead, and just stretching that front part of you. Nice job. All right. So we're going to slowly come up and we're going to utilize our weight. And so we're going to pretty much, we're going to stay kneeling because I feel like the transition a little easier if we stand and our head has been below our hearts. Sometimes we tend to feel a little dizzy. All right. So we're going to do a modified wood chopper. All right. So kneeling, take your dumbbell going to go across the body. So lower right, upper left. All right, ready, set, go. So modified wood chopper, we're on our knees. Otherwise you can stand and be on your feet. So keeping those abs engaged, this rotational aspect, is important. It's one of those planes of motion. So when I talk about planes of motion, it's either the plane of walking forward and back would be one plane. Another plane would be something where it's side to side. And then the last plane is where we think of things that are rotational. Three, two, one. All right. So we're going to go other side. So bottom left, upper right. Ready? Go. 
So with that continued talk about the plane, planes of motion, we tend to do a lot of exercises that kind of happen a forward and back plane or a side to side plane, but we don't do a lot of exercises that are rotational. This being one of them. Great job. So remember to make sure that your core is doing the work and it's not necessarily the shoulders. Three, two, one, relax for a moment. Just kind of catch yourself back into this not getting dizzy phase. That's why it's important to look beyond your dumbbell. Otherwise you do get hyper-focused and we don't need anyone falling over. All right, round number two, ready, go. So bottom right, upper left. Nice job, everyone. Keep it going. Great job, great job. Keep going. Three, two, one. All right. So we're now going to go bottom left to upper right. Ready, set, go. So again, if you have your soup can in hand, that's just as beneficial if you don't have dumbbells at home. Just work with what you have. Be creative. Nice job, again, making sure that the torso for our midsection is doing the work. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. So again, just kind of catch your catch yourself, making sure that you know when we start round three, that we're not starting round three feeling dizzy. And again, look beyond your dumbbell. All right. So we have one last and final round, and then one last and final exercise after that. Ready? Go. So we'll get through this one really quick. So that way we hopefully have time to do the other one. So again, making sure that we're twisting kind of that torso. So again, from the waist up, kind of in a diagonal fashion. Nice shot, three, two, one, other side, last time, ready, go. So whether it's bottom left to upper right or bottom right to upper left. Still keeping that belly button drawn towards the spine, keeping that core engaged as we do it. Excellent job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So again, recenter yourself. So when we get into that standing position for this last and final one, we're still going to use the dumbbell. We're going to do a dumbbell swing. So still engaging the core will be a little bit more cardiovascular in nature. So it's slightly sitting back, kind of partially, and then you're going to use your hip to pop the weight up or pop the arm up. So I'm not really utilizing my shoulders by any means. All right, ready, go. So slightly sit back, pop the hip, or in that sense of like you're pushing the hip forward. It then moves the arms up, and moves the arm to where it's parallel to the floor. And as I sit back, it helps to decelerate my swing on the way down. 
five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so we'll do one more and then we'll cut it just so we're not too far over on time. So one last and final one. Get ready, set, go. So last one. So again, whether you're using soup can or even like a backpack, using those handles, hanging on to those handles or those drawstring bags, and maybe put something in it. Just make sure that it's zipped up or tied off, just so that you don't have things flying out. Nothing gets broken. Three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. All right. If you have time to do one more on your your own, do so uh, for the three full rounds. Otherwise, have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.